Well, we lost a music legend Wednesday. Tina Turner passed away at her home in Switzerland. Blake is here now with more of some of the tributes that have poured in for the hometown icon. Yes, indeed. Good morning to you, Neil. Just 83 years old, Tina Turner personified grace and grit from electric performances to millions of albums sold, all while inspiring others to never give up along the way. The Tennessee native, also known as the queen of rock and roll, is known for classic hits like The Best and, of course, What's Love Got to Do With It. After growing up in small town Tennessee, she went on to win Grammys, star in movies, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame not once, but twice. Through her journey across the globe, her Tennessee roots remain strong, which is why so many have found hope, joy, and inspiration at the Tina Turner Museum located in West Tennessee. Well, the museum is actually inside Flag Grove School, which was her childhood school. She attended grades one through eight there, uh, just outside of Nutbush. So not only is it important because she attended it, it also uh, educated a lot of African-American children. And it's part of her family legacy because her great uncle actually built the school. So from Tennessee to across the globe, really, Dolly Parton, she, sh she shared her condolences to the passing of Tina Turner, saying, quote, now she's rolling, rolling, rolling on to glory. Roll on, Tina. We will always love you. The vice president also paid tribute as well, saying Turner was a spectacular light whose life was a testament to all those who believe in what can be unburdened by what has been. From Nutbush, Tennessee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, her strength, voice, and signature moves inspired millions. Tina Turner was simply the best. And, you know, I think there's so many moments from Tina's career that serve as inspiration to all of us. But I think one that in particular stood out to me was that what's love got to do with it went on to be number one when she was 44 mm -hmm. years old. And you think about the lifetime of a career that she yeah. had even after that, mm -hmm. I think really does prove that the best is yet to come. Some artists would think that nothing can happen after their 20s and right. 30s, right. but she just soared into success. Soared. It was awesome. Right. Really, really mm -hmm. incredible stuff. And then not to mention, you know, you got the museum right here mm -hmm. uh, in our backyard. So. I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna get a lot of visitors yes. over the next few weeks and months to come. Yeah, they tell us that they are planning a special tribute uh, that they're gonna begin to kind of release details in the coming days, but of course, like many of us were just really kind of caught off mm -hmm. guard by the news that came yeah. out yesterday. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that she was sick or mm -hmm. even 83 years old. Mm -hmm. well, she had battled cancer a few years uh -huh. back and then I, I post a few days ago she said I wish Maybe I took better care of my kidneys when mm -hmm. I was younger so it's kind of indicating that she was struggling with that mm -hmm. there but yeah um, well, what a married, life yeah right mm -hmm. right married for 38 years mm -hmm. and, and found happiness she said yeah. in the end, so